My name is Pauline Machiga. I'm the Executive Director at the Centre for Academic Development at the Vol University of Technology. And the Vol University of Technology is located in southern Gauteng um, on the Vol River in Van der Baal Park. Gee, that's a good question, hey. We, prior to Blackboard, uh, I came into the institution in 2011 um, and what I found there was uh, was that, you know, we didn't have any direction in terms of e-learning. We didn't have a viable product, uh, a viable LMS that we could actually use. And so I would say the prior to Blackboard actually being used at Val University of Technology, it was extremely frustrating, frustrating, and um, it was really um, just holding the institution back um, from experiencing the joys of e-learning and the joys of what an LMS or what a learning management system can do for an institution. Yeah, I have quite a lot of advice for for uh, universities that are considering to use Blackboard. Um, I think the most important advice I could offer is the whole thing around meeting the needs of the institution. I think when you look at a learner management system, it's very important that you make the link or the quantum leap to understanding what your institution's needs are. For example, one of the things that was really pertinent for us when we started looking at learner management systems is the external hosting uh, feature um, that Blackboard offers because primarily we didn't have, the institution didn't have the money to actually employ um, somebody to actually uh, run the system itself. Um, and so it was very important for us to have it externally hosted because our, our, our IT system is not very strong within the institution and it was very important that the system be kept uh, running um, and be kept uh, being able to be maintained without disrupting the service to academics. So I think one of the most important features is looking at what your needs are and then linking those needs to the kind of LMS or, or looking at what, what Blackboard can really offer in terms of your needs. I think without Blackboard, we our focus would be a lot on running the tool, um, the technicalities around the tool, maintaining the tool, um, especially if we had to have a server here. Um, I think a lot of the focus would be on that and less focus would be actually on innovation and curriculum, um, doing, uh, doing instructional design, uh, working with academics in terms of training them in how to facilitate blended learning with a learner management system like Blackboard. So uh, I think our focus would have been on that and that would have been actually extremely sad um, because you know, we'll be getting a lot of feedback from academics around that instead of engaging questions, looking at questions that can uh, really help the development uh, of teaching and learning at the university in terms of e-learning. There's always a query about, uh, you know, the expense concerning around Blackboard. I think when we as executive directors in South Africa get together, especially those of us who are working with, with Blackboard, working with i um, one of the things that we always worry about is the expense and how much the tool actually really costs. But then I'm so I'm so happy because I think that um, i and Blackboard have a really uh, they, ha re they have a really reach out kind of attitude. Uh, so for me, from Vol University of Technology, I've always explained how our what our financial situation is, and I think they've really accommodated and what our economic profile of our students are, and they've always accommodated that. So um, even though it might be expensive in the sense that that it costs a lot of money. But the, but the fact is, is that we walk away from the actual tool. The tool is completely running itself. It's, uh, it, it, all its features are working. Um, it gives lecturers an opportunity to really engage uh, with, with, with the learning management system. 
Um, so that kind of freedom obviously comes at a price, um, but that price I feel at the moment, yes, it's manageable, um, but I'm not sure what it will be like in, in, in terms of the long term. Well, gee whiz, that will be, if you told, told me that immediately, that Blackboard would not be available. Um, I'm just sort of going to leave my office quietly and relocate to some other place because I, can, I know that <laughs> the outpouring of our academics will be frightening. Um, I think once in the first year when we started out, uh, we had some problems and um, you know, we couldn't use the system and it was just like terrible and that was when 10% of our lecturers were actually using, using Blackboard. I don't know what I'll, what I'll do now with 45% of our lecturers um, you actually using using Blackboard. I wouldn't. I'll, yeah, I definitely relocate for a while. Um, yeah, and 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 that's the point. The point of Blackboard is is that I don't worry about um, you know if the tool if the tool is accessible because um, external hosting makes it accessible 24/7, which was our need. Our need was that this tool should be accessible 24/7. You know. And um, and so we've 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 moved our, our our debates in our university where before Blackboard, we we were really concerned with accessibility, and accessibility was the biggest thing on the agenda when speaking to uh, academics. But now the biggest thing on the agenda is development. It's innovation. Uh, uh, looking at the curriculum and seeing how we can you know um, deliver content to learners. Uh, with instructional design, how can we do blended learning? Um, but one of our most important pertinent things is is that we're also debating about is now how do we make data accessible to students? You know, so that students can have the freedom now to to access uh, Blackboard. Um, I think it's taken the institution a very long time to realize that accessibility is not only twenty four seven, but it's wherever in the world. And um, so we send our sports students out, our, our academics go to conferences, and they can still access their students. And that, for me, is amazing. That's value for money. Well, I'd, I'd, I'll, I would describe it as, um, as just, as just uh, accessibility. I would, I would describe it um, as a communication tool, I would describe it as, as, as a vehicle of change and a vehicle of transformation. Because I think at the heart of what we're doing here at VUT, um, at Vol University of Technology, is that we're transforming um, the idea of the ideas around teaching and learning. We're transforming it. We are saying that through Blackboard, we can make our content of our 1,400 modules available to anyone across the world. And I think that's what I want to. I want to. I want to bring that cutting edge excitement to my to to my explanation when I explain it to a friend. And I think, um, you know, that learning is no longer dependent on mortar and bricks. That students have to be in a classroom. Um, that students have to be in the classroom all the time, um, but that we can also export our content um, in a much easier and simpler format. So I think that's what I'm, I want to explain to my friend, that, bl the bl that Blackboard makes learning easier, makes learning exportable, makes the content exportable to other, to other markets that we, we can't even imagine. Okay, what I love about my job is is the growth for me personally um, in terms of my own career development. I came here in 2011 uh, from from another university, um, which I won't mention, but um, also using Blackboard. But I wasn't really involved in um, implementing Blackboard. But I think that um, what what was the most amazing thing is is that. I've, this that I've had through through Blackboard, I've been actually able, I've been introduced to the e-learning community, and I've been allowed to through through 
through my job, I've, I've actually grown and I've grown a lot about uh, understanding e-learning. It's taken me a lot of time. I've been here now for seven years and for five years, I think, I I just read so many case studies and I spoke, I've been given the opportunity to speak to so many people um, and just having the opportunity. And I think that's what I love about my the about working for Volume University of Technology, that I have the time to talk to staff here at Vol around around e-learning and uh, the excitement around driving transformation and driving the process of of developing e-learning and developing blended learning more importantly. So I think that's what I love about it, the opportunity to grow. And I must really say, over the last seven years, I've really grown. It's been really a growth explosion for me. Oh, when I came here in 2011, um, staff were complaining about the LMS because basically the institution was not investing its money in development of the LMS and the way it's been in, was implemented. It was basically placed down. It was an open source um, LMS. I won't mention its name, but it was basically just set out, uh, put on, put. Uh, it was just taken live, and then academics were actually responsible for the development of building tools, which they hated because all they wanted to do was put their content online. Um, and it didn't give them, so they were frustrated when I came here and they were disillusioned um, because it didn't give them the opportunity to innovate, it didn't give them an opportunity to develop instructional design, it didn't give them an opportunity um, to think of ways in which they could they could action blended learning um, and or facilitate blended learning because they were constantly bombarded by a tool that would not work, constantly bombarded by how do you build tools and I think you know, the word that can describe that you know, oh, I can't even think of that word um, yeah yeah let's not talk about that <laughs> that's a bad experience <laughs> Well, what I love about Blackboard that it's constantly improving, that from year to year we have new features. Um, so it grows with, 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 with its users and it also grows its users. And also in terms of accessibility, um, yeah, we use using Blackboard now for, for some time and, and, and I mean, I think for, we're going, I think we're going into our fifth year and um, you know, not once in that time did I ever had problems with with uh, with with the accessibility of the tool, and I think that's what I also love the most about it. Yeah, and I, and I love going to the conference. You know, the 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 BB conference. Um, I think it's I think anyone who wants to know more about Blackboard should actually go to such a conference because. Um, it teaches you and it exposes you to so many case studies across the world and one of the most interesting things and I think one of the most exciting things is that when I went to the B first time I went to the BB conference and I saw and met people from Korea and I met people from Vietnam and I met um, individuals um, from Hong Kong universities, they were having the sim a similar experience to what we were having and what, what, what VUT was experiencing, they were also experiencing. And I think in that way, sharing sharing case studies and sharing how to implement and sharing how, 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 how awesome, um, how, what were their success stories, actually helped me come back to VUT and actually helped me in actual, in actual implementation. So I think um, that's, that, that, what, that's a very exciting process, yeah. I am Mponyana Vessels, the Instructional Designer at VUT in Center for Academic Development. Um, I've been with VUT for just over two years now in this position. Started off as a trainer for Vutela, which is Blackboard, and I am now in the instructional designing um, field, um, designing modules for lecturers. All right, my advice for those who would want to use Blackboard is um, 
they would first need somebody who is maybe comfortable in technologies or any learning management systems and um, it is an easy system it is easy to learn it is um, easy to adapt to even though you've got other experiences in other learning management systems and not necessarily on blackboard um, the support is great so that's a plus for those institutions maybe who wouldn't have anybody with any prior background um, so there is support there and it's easy it's a the user interface for blackboard even for students lecturers as well as support staff is easy to navigate so it would be a good system for any institution to adopt. Well, if for some reason Blackboard would not be here anymore, um, I think it would be devastating for all of us, um, not only in the e-learning um, unit, but I think for the institution as a whole, because we have sort of took Blackboard as our enhancer of education. Um, a lot of our lecturers are now supplementing their face-to-face -face classes with content online. They are engaging with their students online. We have diversified learning spaces with Blackboard. Um, we do not only get educated in the classroom here at VUT, Blackboard has been sort of our second classroom, so it would really be a knock for us here at VUT. If I would be explaining Blackboard to a friend, I would say it's another classroom outside the classroom. It's another space for students and lecturers to have their learning continued um, because you don't only just upload content on Blackboard. At VUT, we don't use it as a storage um, place. It's more than that. It's about learning. It's about doing activities, about engaging, and it's about so much more. It's about reaching out to those students that feel anxious and shy in the classroom. So we're reaching out to all students inside and outside the classroom. So that's what I would um, say to a friend. What I love about my job is we've got a vibrant spirit. We are very diversified. Um, we are people that are innovative. If you are not an innovative person, when you come here, I mean, by the end of six months, you'll be the most innovative person because you are pushed beyond your boundaries. You are pushed to where you never thought you could be, what you never thought you could be in life. And um, I'm loving that. I have um, known so much about myself that I didn't know in the last two years. I can achieve more than I thought I would. So this job has given me an opportunity to even find things that I never knew existed about me. Um, what I love about VUT is that it gives opportunities um, to individuals such as myself to come here and you know give the best. And um, what I love as well is that we are change makers. We, we, we offer support that um, a lot of times you would not find at other institutions. Um, we go way beyond what we are supposed to be doing. And um, I love that about my job. Um, I'm passionate about technologies as a whole um, and e-learning is just part of that um, technologies in education and um, my passion in e-learning lies in passion in education and um, always trying to make a change and we needed that change in education that we're not only getting educated when we are um, confined in a classroom but we needed to get ways that are outside of a classroom and find ways that we can support students and because students are using technology so much in their social lives in their everyday lives we had to bring that technology in in education as well so that they can see that education evolves 
as much as all the generations you know we've got generation x generation y um so we want to bring that with them that um technology can grow just as much and e-learning is doing that what i love about blackboard is that it's giving um, institutions a space to create a classroom outside of a normal classroom there are no walls in a classroom you know in blackboard we don't have walls in blackboard so lecturers and students are free to do what they cannot do in classrooms. The lecturers can reach out to more students than they could in the classroom. Um, Blackboard does not say this is a small group of students or a big, of, a big group of students. All students are the same in a Blackboard classroom. So what I love about Blackboard is that it does not give lecturers, um, say, a lot of work to do because whatever you do reaches out to the number of students that you actually have in your course as opposed to only having a number of certain students in a normal classroom that we know so um, blackboard gives lecturers that space to reach out to all students in the classroom um, and it does not need that much of training because students are already um, familiar with technologies that they use um, there is support in blackboard so um, there isn't a lot of technical issues with blackboard it is never down it is always up and running so um, and it's on the cloud which makes it accessible anywhere anytime so that is a good um, feature that blackboard has Hey, I am Dr. Kirsty Lee Sharp and I work at VUT. I am a senior lecturer in the marketing and sport department and I teach consumer behavior to uh, first year marketing and retail students and second year sports students, but it's the same content, it's just on different levels. And I do postgraduate studies as well. Uh, I have currently three MBA students, uh, three master students and one PhD student. complicated and tedious that was you know marking and dealing with lots of students is just tedious so before that it was all manual and a lot of work my advice would be to take it and run with it to use it learn the system it's got many many advantages more advantages than disadvantages i don't think there's really a disadvantage except if you're looking for something that will answer a question like a long question paper that's not going to work but the rest in terms of getting your students more involved more engaged with your work uh, getting them to do more activities and not have to worry about marking those activities and you know being that instant feedback and gratification for the students is good and it helps students by being more engaged with the content so i would say my advice would be to take it and run with it, use it, incorporate it wherever you possibly can uh, and start looking at really using a blended teaching environment in terms of your normal classes as well as your e-learning. So the students, there's a very diff different culture here, so the students are a bit um, all convinced that beauty, um, Futella is not really for them or Blackboard is not really for them but it's because they have to take ownership of their own studies there's no one to really uh, baby them and give them you know all the stuff they have to go look for it um, I do find that in the class they are a lot more attentive and a lot more interactive because it f I've created a thing where they have to or activities where they have to engage with the, the information or content before the class as well as after the class so in the class when we're discussing it they've already looked at the the work because they've been forced to look at the work so they are definitely more into get in more engaging and interactive in the classroom which is more beneficial especially when you're teaching large numbers I 
I think it's a lot more slower, especially in terms of the protest action that we face. I mean, we've just had like two or three weeks where it was complete shutdown. And now the thing is we use a, we're using Vitello a lot to catch up on or, or to catch up on the work that's lost because the students can work at, at home at least and we've got record of that. Um, and also to communicate with the students when you're not able to communicate. Uh, I do use my email um, for communication, but I like to do announcements so that they can all have access to it. Um, and I do believe that it's helping lecturers reduce their workload in terms of having to not have to, if you've got, let's say, five assessments, you can have two or three of those on Vitella and you don't have to be sitting marking the entire semester, especially in my case, I've got 460 students for one subject and I'm one person. So for me to have to mark five assessments 460 times is, a, is really time consuming and time I don't have. So with the use of Vitella or Blackboard, it enforces or allows us to just alleviate some of the pressure in, in terms of the workload. Yes, I must be honest, in the beginning I was a bit hesitant on the, on the, the system and the use of the system. I'm talking about 2014. Um, but then that is just me and technology. We are not the greatest friends. So I then took a whole different aspect of learning. I did a postgraduate diploma in higher education. And then I started seeing how technology can assist me in my classes. And that's when I started using Vitella. And, you know, first of all, it was a small scale, and now it's quite a large percentage. But I'd say about 60% of my work comes, or all my work is based on Vitella activities and assessments. I'd be absolutely devastated. I would literally be the first person looking for the next best alternative to Blackboard in order to make my life easier and to continue working the way I do because it just it really does alleviate a lot of stress um, and I believe in working smart not hard I also believe that time is money so I like to take the measures to ensure that I have the most time out of my day and Vutella gives me that opportunity to get the most time out of my day. I like to refer to Vutella as a sort of educational Facebook because it's literally like a media platform where you can I don't want to use the word socialize, but communicate with each other. Um, you can literally put any announcements on there, let your students know exactly what's going on, when it's going on, things you forgot to say in class, you can then put on Vitella and they have access to that. Um, and also it gives them a chance to take the or get their learner guides and if you're lucky enough to have an e-learning textbook on there which also alleviates having to carry all the learner guides around textbooks etc etc and everything is at your fingertips so no matter where you are if you've forgotten let's say if you need to write a test or your students need to write a test and they go home for the weekend and they've forgotten something it's all on Vitella so they can literally still do the test without having to worry about what they left behind. So I live by the motto, do what you love, love what you do, and I, my passion is lecturing. I absolutely love it. I'm happiest in the classroom teaching the students. I'm happiest when they are engaging with me, and that is why I like Vitella so much, because it makes them more interactive and engaging. And yes, I just, I love my job. So it's not really, people tease me, but it's not really work for me, because I just love my job. So it's a passion. So the worst part of my job, or the worst part of my job before Vutella was the marking. Um, I am not a fan of marking, it is a very tedious process, although I am a fast marker, I just do not like it. So, and I also don't like the fact of cutting down trees and wasting paper, so for me, Vutella is the perfect answer for saving the planet and the environment. The fact that it marks for me is my favorite thing about Blackboard. I just love that function. Um, and I'm not a fan of using activities on Blackboard that don't give me that marking function. Um, I also find that the students, like I said previously, 
they are Generation Y students and they want everything at their fingertips. So with Vitelli you can give them that instant feedback which they crave and which they want and which they ask for.